Hey there, everybody. This is Iran. I'm back again with another new little indie game that you might not have heard of, and this one is called Dune Sea. This one is coming out today on Steam. And I'm going to tell you what, friends. I have been having a tough week. All right, I'm not going to get into it. Don't worry, I'm going to be okay. But I have had some real serious rough stuff going on this week, and I thought I need something that looks very relaxing and very chill. And uh, then here comes this game, Dune Sea, and they're like, hey, would you like to review this game? And I thought, that looks like something I would like to review right now. That looks very relaxing. I am playing uh, the pre-release build, so hopefully if there are any bugs that will be fixed and released, just keep that in mind. We might encounter a glitch or two, and I am playing with an Xbox 360 gamepad. Let's take a peek in here. We've got full control over the audio, ambiance, music, and sound effects all separate. We've got the gamepad here. It doesn't look like it's uh, rebindable. But at least we can look at this. And there's apparently the keyboard controls, which I'm not really going to look at because I'm using gamepad. I'm curious what's in extras here. Credits and intro scene. Alright, well, I'm hoping we're going to get the in intro scene uh, when we first start up. So let's hit new game. Let's get right in there and let's see what happens. Well, this does look very pretty. Now, apparently you are a goose in this game. Which I find fascinating because I have very recently been playing another game featuring a goose. A uh, very obscure little game. I'm sure most of you haven't heard of it. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's untitled, anyway. Uh, oh no, what's this? <gasps> oh no! I thought this was gonna be peaceful and relaxing. This looks terrible. Some just crashed into the earth. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Guys! Folks! Friends! I, I... Please tell me I can get up. Oh! I, I think I might have, um... I think I might have skipped something there. Okay, I, I look like I'm in rough shape. Right, trigger. And... Ooh, ooh, the controls are... Odd. I think I need to try to catch these. Ooh. Do I have to hold down the right trigger the whole time? Oh, I do! It's to flap my wings. Ugh. <laughs> That's just a, uh... From an accessibility point of view, having to hold down the trigger the entire time you're playing something is uh, really harsh on the wrist. Oh no, I bumped my head right on a rock! Oh, I'm bad at this. Alright. It would be nice if it were possible to, um... To control it in some other way rather than having to hold down the trigger. I understand why they have it as holding down the trigger. Maybe there are times when you want to stop flapping. So you need it to be something, but if it were a toggle, for example... Oh, I've got to push right. Okay. I thought I was just going to fly forward automatically. Apparently not. I'm guessing I need to pick up these little purple thingies. Oh, little purple things, I don't know what you are. You know what this reminds me of a bit? A game I played pretty obsessively in high school called Helicopter. It was a flash game. And we're talking, um... We're talking... Mm, around 2000, early 2000s. I'm trying to speak and fly at the same time. This is probably not wise. B. I landed! I did it. I'm gonna be okay, my friends. Is this like a checkpoint? Yeah, go, uh, I think I can still play it, actually. Helicopter Flash game. It was, it was just a little 2D game. Uh, it was like a, a long ago precursor to Flappy Bird, I guess. And you just held down the mouse button to go up, and you push down the mouse button, or and you, uh, you let go of the mouse button to go down. Oh, this is very pretty, though. Controls are very different. Here I am talking about the controls to a totally different game. I should be focusing on this game, shouldn't I? Alright, now some of these are clearly going to be in the background. Ooh. Ooh. They look quite relaxing, actually. It doesn't look like there's any timers or anything like that. Whoa! Hoo hoo hoo! Hoo 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 hoo! Okay, okay. Everything's alright. Got a little close call there. But everything is okay now. I'm alright. We've got all those other birds in the background. We've got all these floating rocks, and I can't tell which of these are in the foreground and which of them are are just background, so I'm trying to kind of avoid all of them. And B. I did it. Alright. I still look like I'm in rough shape, though. I'll tell you what. Look at the giant... Look in the background there in the distance. Is that a ribcage? Is that the ribcage of some massive prehistoric creature or something? I don't know. What happens if I just fly right past that thing instead of hitting B? What happens? Ooh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> this is less relaxing than advertised. 
It's not actually, it's quite relaxing. So far, anyway, so far it's relaxing. Let's collect them a little purple things. I don't know um, what the purple things do though. A little bit more of a tutorial would be useful. Um, are they just getting me to a point where I get that little checkpoint? Is that what the uh, purple things are? It looks like they are filling up that bar in the bottom right of the screen. Now, the thing about that is I can't really see that bar very well out of the corner of my eye. I'm paying attention to uh, myself flying. I've just noticed, by the way, if you look down at the ground... Oh, I can't see the ground right now. What's this? Oh, I got a leaf. What was it? What's the leaf? What's the leaf do? Wee. Uh, my shadow's an arrow. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna press B. I'm not sure if I need to do this or not. So what are these things that I'm collecting? Oh, they're like little, um... They look like, uh, dandelion... Poof things. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. Actually, I can't think of a better word for them than dandelion poof things, and I hope that you all understand what I'm talking about. Alright. More birdies back there. And... Dash! <laughs> I think I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of the controls here. I'm quite nice, actually. Wait, wait, what was that? wasn't hallucinating. It was the thing. I would like a little more explanation, though, as to what all this stuff is, and what it's for, and what it does. Like, why am I gathering these things? What's what's the purpose of that? Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Oh, oh, I'm okay. I want to get that leaf. Give me that leaf. Yay! Still looking rough. Still looking rough. I'm okay. Surviving so far. Uh oh Oh no, I bumped my face! <laughs> oh no! I bumped my face on a rock! So presumably that was a checkpoint. And it, uh... Yeah, it brings me back to where I was. I'm gonna bump my face again. No, 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 don't turn around! Why did you turn around? Oh, that was worse. I don't know why it turned around like that. Sometimes, if you if you hit the controller in just the wrong way, it seems like it, uh... I think it sort of, um... Rotates you around... On a dime there, and I didn't actually want to do that. That wasn't what I was going for. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on here? Flying into a storm. Oh no, I can't see what I'm doing. I can still see those purple things, though. <laughs> I saw a leaf up there. And turn around. Oh no, I lost it. It's gone. Can I go over? Oh no, I can't go over this. Oh, there's my leaf. Do I have to go all the way back to that last checkpoint? Or... Oh no, okay. It looks like this checkpoint was midair. Midair checkpoint, this one. Okay. I'm gonna go up this time. Up to get the leaf. Up to get the leaf. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Get it! Nope, didn't get it. Down. Where'd it go? There it is. Got it. Nope, turn around. Ooh, that goose does not turn around fast. Oh, you know what? I can, I'll tell you what. From that other... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Crushed again. From another goose-related game that I mentioned earlier... <laughs> Some of you may have heard of. Um, geese do not turn around very well, especially at speed. So, you know. Uh, nope. 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 Not happening. Uh -huh. Nope. 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 Turn around again. Turn around again. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, there's the leaf. There's the leaf. I don't know what the leaves do, but I just know I have to get it. If I can get a leaf... I gotta get the leaf, right? If it's there, you gotta let me. Uh, you gotta let me get it. Uh, <laughs> let me get it. No! I can do this. Got it. Okay. Leaf is mine. I am in possession of the leaf. Repeat. I am in possession of the leaf. Oh, my wrist is getting sore, though, folks. My wrist is getting sore from holding down that trigger. Uh, I might have to make this another fairly short video. Um. 
just for uh, health reasons. Uh, so that is an issue. If you have wrist troubles, as I do, uh, this game might not be for you, as relaxing as it is, unless you can find a way to change the control so that it triggers the flapping, rather than having to hold it down all the time. It doesn't seem to be a way to do that, so you'd have to kind of hack that in somehow. Um, I still don't know what's going on. The Dry Creek. Okay, so I guess I've started another level. And, you know what, I am gonna go ahead and, uh, dive bomb here. Ah, uh, quack. <laughs> honk, honk. Um, oh, that's such a sad image. Okay, let's leave it on this beautiful image right here. Beautiful, majestic goose. Feather's a little ruffle, but it's gonna be okay. Um, it's very pretty. The controls, uh, they take a little bit of getting used to, but they're actually quite interesting, and I, I do seem to be getting the hang of them. And it does kind of feel like you're flying, so well done on that. Uh, my one criticism really is, uh, well, I guess my two criticisms. One is is from a just an accessibility standpoint, it's not good on the wrist. Really not good on the wrist, holding on the trigger like that. Um, it might be better with the keyboard, I suppose. Maybe I'll give that a try later. Uh, but certainly on the gamepad, that's that's a real painful way to do it. I've seen other games do that too. A lot of games uh, use, you know, hold the trigger to move. And it's very bad for people with wrist trouble. So just keep that in mind. Maybe consider an alternative way to control it. Uh, the other thing is, I still don't really know why I'm collecting the things. Or what they're for, what they do. Am I just collecting them because they're there? Am I, you know, am I, am I, am I making a fool of myself over here? Just because I'm a goose. Just because I'm a goose doesn't mean I'm a fool, folks. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed this one. My friends, this is available on Steam today. If it's not up yet, it'll be up sometime today. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as I always do. And remember, my friends, if this game just isn't your cup of tea, do not worry. Because I'll be back soon with another new little indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Honk. He's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen Dudek. He makes unbelievable things from beads. Galen Dudek. He builds amazing things in Minecraft too. Galen Dudek. He loves animals and he's got lots of pets, yeah. Galen Dudek. He might poke a bit of fun, but he's actually a sweetheart. He's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen, he's Galen Dudek.